This episode of Fleet Equipments on the Road is brought to you by Wix Filters. Visit wixfilters.com for more information and enjoy the show. Life on the road leaves you with a lot of time to think. On a quiet drive like this, from one trucking industry event to the next, a number of questions can roll through your mind. Questions like, did I miss my exit? Where am I going to get more coffee? Or, why don't we talk more about wheel hubs? After all, wheel hubs are an essential part of the truck's operational efficiency and safety. I'm still trying to figure out the answers to the first two questions, but I'm making a pit stop to visit the Timken company to get answers to the last one. So come along for the ride as we talk to Timken's top minds about all things wheel hub, seals, bearings, and more. I'm Jason Morgan, editor of Fleet Equipment Magazine. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get lost in the phone calls, emails, blogs, likes, tweets, and more. So I'm hitting the road to talk to the industry's best and brightest. This is Fleet Equipment's On The Road. Timken offers a full aftermarket wheel hub assembly, from seals and bearings to everything in between. And I'm at Timken's world headquarters in North Canton, Ohio, to talk with Dan Humphrey, Timken's manager of commercial vehicle aftermarket, about the importance of proper wheel hub maintenance and why fleet managers should be taking a close look at their bearings of choice. Bearings are bearings are a key and critical element within the within the wheel end system. I mean, they obviously allow the uh, the wheel to rotate, reduce friction, carry the load within the wheel end system. So from a fleet manager's perspective, they need to be looking at getting a bearing that is consistent, has the quality and the performance that is needed in order for their particular duty site. Bearings are often an unsung component of the wheel hub assembly. In fact, Dan explained, wheel maintenance is usually the arena of the least experienced technician on the fleet's payroll. To help educate fleets, Timken launched a robust training suite of services, from videos like the one seen here to free online training and even on-site education. When you go to the on-site one, you're working with a fleet, uh, what are the biggest uh, training bullet points that you stress when you're talking? key is understanding the type of wheel end you're dealing with. Again, there have been some changes with the, uh, the pre-adjusted systems out there and the unitized systems out there. Historically, it was all manual adjust, so you would go in, you would do TMC RP618, you would walk them through that process, very simple, very consistent as far as that procedure goes. Now you have different types of wheel ends in the market. So each has a different adjustment procedure. So it's important that those technicians at the fleet level understand first and foremost the type of wheel end they're dealing with and then how to properly adjust that, the type of components that go into that, if it's even serviceable. If you have a unitized system, it's not even serviceable. You have to replace that full hub assembly. So knowing those things and educating the technicians on that is very important from that hands-on training perspective. Dan definitely gave me a lot more to think about as I hit the road in search of fresh coffee. For expanded show notes and even more episodes of Fleet Equipments on the Road, visit feontheroad.com.